I have many concerns and, and objections about this legislation, but I'll confine my remarks to just one and stand for the unborn child. I remember when my youngest son was born, uh, going with my wife to the, the doctor's appointments on a monthly basis, and I know that many of my colleagues have shared this experience, uh, whether you were the pregnant one or whether you, the, you were the male in the relationship, and whether it was a, the ultrasound or the sonogram, hearing the heartbeat and looking at that little baby moving around at a very early stage. Uh, I know most recently, um, Senator Jacobs no doubt had the experience, Senator Benjamin no doubt had the experience. And I would make the argument, like many, that that little heartbeat and that little, little thing moving around in the mother's womb is a unique human being. It doesn't meet our definition of a, in the penal law of a person but it has a heartbeat, and it is moving, and it has an identity. And I would also venture to say that we have people in this very chamber. Uh, we certainly know people, but there's those in this very chamber that were born premature in their seventh month or in their eighth month. So these unique human beings going forward that nobody today is speaking for, we often talk in, in, in this chamber about equal protection. Who is providing the protection for these unborn children? And I hear oftentimes with many, many different things that we talk about, and I share this feeling that part of the job of government and part of what we're here for is to stand up and protect the innocent and protect the most vulnerable. I'm very sad to say that in this case, though, Today, New York State has failed. I vote nay.